Hi guys, I'm gonna try and get through this vlog without crying because I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed and I, I, I feel like I'm on the verge of a breakdown. So I thought I'd film this and I wanted to film it on like an actual camera. But I've lost my battery charger. I don't know where it is and that was the last straw. So I was like, we're gonna do a phone vlog and whatever quality it is, forgive me. I am literally holding back tears right now. And I feel like the moment I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna cry. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Basically, I feel so stressed. And I feel like I don't have a right to come on here and say that because, like, I am so flipping lucky, you know? Like, everything that I'm feeling stressed about is kind of my own fault in the sense of, like, I put all of these things on my own plate so like how dare I feel stressed it's not as though it's like I have children or like have to help look after somebody or like um, well not physically anyways um so I just feel like this week I haven't got everything together you know and I can normally fix things with a to-do list like as in I don't even know what I'm upset about well I do know what I'm upset about like we were in class today and um, it was just a lot six months into my PhD now and um, it's been hard like juggling everything but it's been manageable you know it's been like my Hannah Montana lifestyle and it's been great but this week this week has been hard and I don't know why because I have the most amazing team around me and they're so wonderful and they're just telling me like take a break take some time off and I know I'm supposed to take time off and like I preach it to people to take time off but like I can't right now because I don't want to feel like I don't ever want anyone to say to me like well you've done it to yourself do you know what I mean because I know that I have so much going on but also my period is coming so that's probably why I'm upset but I just feel overwhelmed today's class I just felt so overwhelmed today's class was the first time that I just thought I can't do it not because of anything but other than the fact that I just felt so behind like not even to do this behind because I've ticked everything off right and each month has been great like for the past five months it's been great in the sense of like even when it's a hard class I've still kind of like known what I'm trying to do or like understood the work and this today like I don't know what it was like I just felt so inadequate you know and like I know this is just like a moment's feeling because it had just been so great and my professors are amazing my classmates are amazing I just I just was like so overwhelmed and I like trying to define what I'm trying to do, especially my dissertation, trying to, um, trying to understand like where I'm going and I'm confused because I have two interests and two paths and like 
I can't seem to decide which way to go, like whether to do youth empowerment within education within the UK or to do like the equity issues of girls education around the globe and that includes you know things like child marriage, period poverty and I've like always known what I'm doing in LUN or when I'm doing my speeches or when I'm and I think today was just once I felt like behind in the class, I just felt like I couldn't catch up. And because we have such a long class, like that seven hours long, that's a long time to feel like that. And I did tell my professor today, and they were like, it's fine. That's like the stage that you're at and how you're supposed to feel. And I promise you, like, if you saw, if you saw my uh, to-do list, my notion, to, like, it's in order. I know what's due when, I know what I'm supposed to be doing when, like, I have a hold on what's required of me so like it's not like that's not the panic I'm having and in my work world I know that my team have got me and if I took a month off or took three months off like they would handle things or we would just simply stop things like I don't have to do anything anywhere but like there's just this feeling of like I can't explain it with the PhD there's something about such an up and a down and up and a down and it feel like you're on top of it, then you feel inadequate, then you feel this and you feel that and I don't know why I'm crying but I just thought oh, oh and well this was definitely my fault so like I'm not even looking for sympathy since the beginning of this PhD I've been getting fantastic scores like great scores and great feedback and always a place to work from always things to improve but things going really great and then I was so unwell like two weeks ago I was really really unwell I don't know what it was something was going around it felt like Covid but it wasn't Covid and I remember writing this paper feeling just like in a daze I wasn't with it I wasn't there and then I submitted it and the feedback and the comments that came back like I didn't do great, I didn't do great on that paper at all. It's the first paper in six months that just didn't go great. And I think I was already feeling like drown like I was drowning and I think that just was the cherry on top to be like, oh shit, like I don't know what I'm doing, even though it's like not representative of me because I was so unwell. I just I wrote a paper that just was I'm reading it back and I'm like, what did I submit? So then today in class, the work for class today was based on that paper and I just was, I was just like, and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this PhD. Like I just don't see it right now. I don't see it right now. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I just don't see it. I just don't see how I'm gonna like finish it or do it. And I haven't felt like that before. Like this is the first time since doing this PhD that I felt like that. And I don't know if it's because like the period is coming <laughs> or if it's because I like I got a bad grade on a paper or if it's because I didn't manage my time well last week I don't know what it is because I don't know what else I could be doing and my apartment is a mess I've got so much laundry to do my shoes are like falling out I just feel like a mess I feel like a mess anyways I just thought I'd tell you guys because I'd never ever want you to always think about like I always have it together because I believe in creating systems and putting things in place but there are some times when it doesn't work so I can have as many to-do lists as I want or as many plans of action and all that jazz but if you feel burnt out you feel burnt out and I think I feel burnt out and I think oh, I don't know I don't even think I want to upload this because I don't want to hear it. Like I don't want to hear. You're an interest. I'm trying. 
you know what I need to stop doing this I know what I need to stop doing and I know what I need to do like it's not I'm not it's not a vlog to say like tell me what I need to do it's just a vlog to just say hey this is how I'm feeling if you're feeling it too I'm so sorry. And I just got back from class as well. Like it was seven hours. I have so much reading to do, and I have so much reading to do for class tomorrow. So I can't even go to bed. It's like 10 p.m. And I have class at 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning. So I didn't even get a chance to like properly rest. And I just think that like props to anyone out there. If you're doing a PhD, please like tell me how you're feeling because I'm certainly feeling stressed and overwhelmed and like before this PhD I never used to get like stress rash and now for the past five months I have a stress rash on my chest which is so crazy and I keep looking being like when did that get there so that's great um and I need to tidy my apartment I need to like eat something maybe i don't know just so much that i need to do i just don't know what i'm doing with my life i mean so see how messy this room is right now Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I just need to tidy my apartment. Because, and I live alone, so like, I can't talk to anyone. It's like, please. My family is sleeping right now, so I can't even talk to anyone. And if my professor is watching this, if you are watching this by like a random chance, please pretend like you haven't seen it because I can't deal with it that <laughs> i just need to think that this is like a personal video really that you can't see because if i think you can see it then i'm not gonna want to cry because i feel bad because you didn't do anything like you've been so supportive and i think the fact that like sometimes you guys are like oh because v is doing it then i can do it it's like not always <laughs> Sometimes V does not know what she is doing. And like right now, like why am I tidying up when I have literal things to do? This apartment isn't even comfortable. Like, look at my apartment. Look at all of this. Like everything is just everywhere. I don't know why I put my clothes here because they wouldn't dry so I put them on the TV to dry because I don't watch TV and it's like why do you have a TV if you can't even use it there's just so much I need to do my solution is that I'm gonna take things off my plate it has come to the point where I can't handle everything on my plate so I'm scaling back on my lifestyle because since starting my PhD and upbringing, my life has changed and I think now I'm feeling overwhelmed. Like, I can't say yes to everything. And I think I feel guilty because of the nature of the work that I do. I feel like I need to do it all the time. And you know what I always tell you guys, you can't pour if you're running from empty. So I'm gonna do exactly what I preach and i'm not gonna pour from empty yeah 
that's it anyways guys i'm gonna go because i have a lot to do i just unpack and tidy up and just read I'll see you in the next vlog when I'm going to be sorting out my life, but right now, boo.